as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we were able to help out in the Hateno Village mayoral election, and we also got this fancy hat as a reward. Very fancy indeed, but it's sort of scaring me a little. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and equip some normal gear now. And with that, my main goal for right now is to go over to that giant Skyview Tower that you can see in the distance. That should clear out this whole section of the map, which would be quite useful. So we're going to start with that. Maybe afterwards we could find some geoglyphs or maybe even make our way to Laurel and Village, which I think is somewhere around there. I don't know. But it's gonna take a lot of mountain climbing to get over to that way, so I figure we won't waste any time. We'll get right started with it. Since we spent a lot of time in this village recently, I think it's only fair that we uh, start working on some other stuff. But you know what, it's been fun here at Hateno Village. I had a lot of fun for sure just exploring and talking to all the people, but I've had my fill. We'll come back at some point for sure. But whoa, this is a big tree. Which makes me wonder if there's anything at the top of it. Yeah, it might be easier to get up the branch from here. Oh, right there. Because of course, we're still on the, the hunt for Korok seeds wherever we can find them. So let's see if there is one on the top of this big tree. I guess there's not. <laughs> okay, but we can use this to glide over to the next section that we might want to get to. That didn't help much. And yeah, I guess there's more like pastures and farms all over the place, some of which we've already explored pretty thoroughly. But I guess for something like this, we just want to get to climbing, right? Obviously, if we have the opportunity to ascend or to use any of our other fancy tricks, we should. But I think sometimes, even in Tears of the Kingdom, just like Breath of the Wild, we need to just climb. And that's exactly what I should do. Um, and as you can see, we already have like two stamina bars or stamina wheels. We just got that expanded last time around. Uh, I don't see too much off that way. I am still, oh, it's getting really cold up here. Because we have not been to this one. I guess that's where I can at least equip, where is it? The archaic worm greaves. That will sort of keep me warm, but I guess maybe not warm enough. I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, is there anything else? Do I have any other gear that keeps me warm at the moment? I don't think so. That could be an issue. Okay, well in the meantime, what I could do is just hold this and that should keep me a little bit warmer, right? There it is. So we'll stay protected with this thing. That's always nice. What is, whoa, that's a pretty bird. Oh, I already got the picture of it. Never mind. don't eat it. See ya. But we're getting a little bit closer to the Skyview Tower. That's good. But it's still quite the climb before we actually get there. So we just gotta keep going. It gets harder to make our way up all this snow. That's for sure. But if we could get to the very top of this mountain, I think it might be an easier glide over to what we're getting to. But yeah, after we get this done, I figure we'll try to focus a little bit more on geoglyphs. There's gotta be one nearby, right? I feel like this side of the map, I haven't really seen any, but now that we're way high up, I can also maybe spot out, you can see that there is a lookout landing or a Skyview Tower over there. That's one I think I've already found, if I'm not mistaken, because this one I haven't found, right? Oh no, I guess that one's also orange. Maybe if it's blue, I have found it. Okay, so we know where the other one is. Maybe we'll get two done today, who knows. Um, oh, there's some spicy peppers to get. We're gonna continue over. I do see that giant uh, depths entrance. I'm not gonna mess with that too much right now, but it seems like there's a pretty clear path up this mountain just from here. So, all right, let's get to it. Might just be ha having to do a lot of climbing here. There's some. I see choo-choo's over here. I'll save them for later. I think we've dealt with plenty of them in the past. We don't really need any of the choo-choo jelly or anything. So we're probably gonna have to keep this thing equipped for most of the run over since we don't have the gear to keep us warm for this. I think that for now, we're just mostly focused on the tower. So that's not too big of a deal. If we were more thoroughly exploring this area, I would really wanna come back with gear that keeps us warm for longer. Or at least some food that would help us stay warm too. Which I'm sure we could craft some if we can run into a, um, a cooking area, but we'll have to wait and see. Don't think we're gonna find, oh no, much of that here. I see you up there throwing snowballs at me. I don't appreciate it, Silver Lizophos. I'd rather you stop doing that. What's over here in the corner? Oh, we have a cold darner, which I don't think I have a picture of. No, I do, Never mind. But I wouldn't mind grabbing another. So if you guys wanna scoot, there you go, got it. Thank you very much. So yeah, I guess we're just continuing our trek up this way. It's always exciting to explore more parts of the game. Oh, here, here they come. Oh, that was scary. Uh, Like I said, I'll keep with this for now, at least to maybe set you on fire a little bit. There we go. We might get cold a little bit, but we can swing around with the soldier or blade here. Ooh, do a lot of damage. 
And then, you know what I will do? This, because that'll make a lot of fire. Where did you go? Uh, well, they're gone. <laughs> That's not what I had intended, but, oh, they're way down that way. They might find their way back up eventually, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll keep marching up here. We still have half a golden heart that I don't wanna lose to freezing, that's for sure. But we still have quite the high mountain to climb. And I think, you know, we should stick to the path if we have the opportunity to, because I'm sure there might be something along the lines eventually, or at the least there might be extra mushrooms and stuff to forage. Those things are all important, and oh, hello. Uh, you know what, let's not use that instead, no. Nope. Okay, never mind. you got it, thank you. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but uh, I guess we could, where is it, back part, speed up like this. That gives us a little bit of a speed boost, right? All right, well, we'll hop off of you now. Dismount, and let's keep moving. Uh-oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Uh, not good, not one of these things. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but okay, call my friends over. Call my friends over as soon as we can. And then we're gonna try this, no! Wait, wait, uh, yeah, okay, okay. I don't like it, I don't like it one bit. It's so scary. Come on, get some shielding. Get, ah, get, let go of me, let go, let go. No, come on, run. Boom, no, come on, that didn't hit them. I need my friends to help me out a little bit more here. Oh man, this is a disaster right now. Um, I'm gonna do this, and then if I, I could just get away, thank you. That'd be great. What can I do here? I'm just trying to make some distance, and it's not working out super well. I might just have to swing. Ooh, the fire sort of helps out a little bit. Um, okay, don't do that, don't do that. What I need to do here is just fight for our lives. Maybe we can even freeze them a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then this one is the last one. I think I don't wanna use that. Instead, use this. Ooh, that hit you, but then you hit me back. If we can just find a way to defeat you, one way or another. I know I'm taking fro frozen damage here too, so it gets pretty scary, but I just, ah, come on. No! Please save me. My, my friends are such a big help here. But just because we defeated that doesn't mean it's over. Phantom Ganon's gonna pop up here in a second. Let me make sure I get a picture of him if I need it. I don't, okay, but it's just one Phantom Ganon. You think we'd be able to handle that, right? Ah, no, we can't. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on, come on. I'm taking damage from the frozenness too. Oh, come on, that was so a dodge. Get out of here. Okay, I can luckily hit you quite a lot with this. Ooh, I'm trying to. I'm really trying to jump out of the way. Um, At this point, I just need anything that'll keep my health up. Got it? I'm luckily able to jab you quite a lot. Dodge, how is that not a flurry rush? Get out of here with that. Ooh, okay, that one is not good. I need to be careful, but we almost got you here. Jeez, just whatever I can eat. Luckily, Addison's been very helpful with that. Oh no! Wait, 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 I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Okay, I'm losing health on this thing, but I'm just gonna keep jabbing you. We almost got you, but just keep at it. What, what is going on with my camera? Why was my camera on him like that? That was so weird. Ooh, okay, that could have been worse. Come on, we almost had you. There it is, we defeated you, and we get the Gloom Spear for that one. Get out of here, buddy. Jeez, that was rough. But do we have a picture of this one? We do have a picture of that, but we don't have a picture of the Demon's King, Demon King's bow. That's surprising, because we had several of those. So I'm glad we got a picture of it now. Awesome. So we got a couple of things, some dark clumps, the Demon King's bow, and the Gloom Spear. I need to get this back out as soon as possible, though, because we're hurting. There we go. I'm hoping that soon we, we can run into a, uh, what is it called? Okay, there's you over here. I want to run into something where I can cook food. There we go, that's gotta hurt, right? Then when we're over here, I'm just gonna hit you with this as much as I can. Our ruby rod is unfortunately badly damaged. Did it break? No, it broke. Okay, I'm just gonna have to add one to my shield. Um, hmm, what shield should I add it to is the question. I might just do one of these royal shields. So we'll do that, we'll go over here. Hold this one, Uh, drop it, and then really quickly, Go to our fuse, fuse to do the shield. There we go, we should be able to stay warm for much longer and much more comfortably now. Uh, but I will open this up to see what we get inside. Amber, okay, nothing too crazy. And we're back on the road with it then. So, this is a very challenging mountain so far, but if we keep going, I can see the lights of the tower in the distance. Eventually we'll get there, but I do see you guys here. Oh, that just freezes me. Okay, not good. <laughs> Maybe I don't do that. 
I mean, I do have 112 of these, so maybe I could just toss a few of those over to melt you guys up real quick. See another one over here. That didn't work because my friends were in the way. Uh, there we go. Oh, so that just stuns them for a moment. It doesn't fully knock them out. So that'll get the job done. I do see another Lysel. This is an ice one. So once again, if I really don't want to do it, that I do that. And you might have gotten me, but I got you too. They have an interesting snowball bat. I guess I'll take that one. Ooh, and it looks like there's some constructs over this way. Okay. They're all just hanging out at the time being. I wonder what we can do about that. I mean, hopefully knock them out, but uh, I'm flying over. I'll hit them with a couple of these shots, and then maybe their friend behind them. Ah, I can't quite. That's all right. <laughs> they don't seem to register what just happened. I will try to throw something out there if I can get another one of the dazzle fruits. Will this even work on them? It will. Nice. Okay, it works really well on them. Let's see what I can use then. I can um, use the Silver Lysel Spear again to really start damaging them down a bit, which is great because you pack a punch. Ooh, come on, just keep jabbing. Come on, just a little bit more, we got you there. You hit both at once, so it really, really helps. And that's those enemies finished off. So I got all of that. Is there anything else around here or were they just sort of here? It seems like they were just sort of here. Didn't know if they had like anything they were protecting. It looks like after that, we just turn and head up here. Exactly what I'm after then. I just gotta be health, careful with my health. Because it get lower pretty easily. But I think we're getting a whole lot closer. We most definitely are. Will there be any more monsters waiting for us? I sure hope not, but you never know. Oh, hey, somebody's up here. And whoa, it's one of the, the statues. The legendary treasure. Hi. Hello, my name's Nosby. I'm a treasure hunter and adventurer extraordinaire, undaunted by even the coldest snow. This area is frozen solid and packed with monsters. No one in their right mind would set foot here. Uh. Except me, of course. There surely must be treasure resting on this mountain where everyone else fears to tread. That's what drove me to travel all this way to Mount Lanairu. Oh, okay, so we're on Mount Lanairu. <laughs> Until I saw you, I really thought I'd be the only one. You must be here for the same reasons I am, and if you are, you'll be wanting to know about what I know about the treasure. Mm. The truth is, by sheer luck, I overheard a legend relating to the treasure on this mountain while I was on my way here. I knew I was a genius for assuming there was treasure on Mount Lairu. Do you want to hear the legend too? Great, then listen up. Hi. For I am Nosby, the treasure hunter with nothing to hide. The legend goes like this. Skim across snow from the spring high in the heavens to the mountain below. Pass through the rings of light to see the light of blessing. Ah! What do you think? That was the real legend for of a real treasure passed down on this very mountain. And you know that with a name like light of blessing, a treasure, the treasure's gotta be worth a bundle. So the light of blessings are what we get for shrine. So it must be a shrine quest. I suspect the spring high in the heavens is referring to these springs. The treasure is as good as found. Oh. Oh, except for the finding it part. I don't know what to do with the rings of light bit. I don't don't see anything like that around here, but I won't give up because you see, Aye. I am Nosby, the Dauntless Treasure Hunter. Not to be confused with my noble steed, Dauntless. All right, so the high spring and the light rings, the shrine quest. At the spring of wisdom, near the summit of the Mount Lanairu, Nosby told you this legend. Skim across snow from the spring high in the heavens to the mountain below, pass through the rings of light to see the light of blessing. The spring high in the heavens in the legend may refer to the spring of wisdom. Gotcha. So we'll definitely have to look around for that one a little bit. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the shrine. I don't know if this counts as one of the giant ones, the spring of wisdom statue. I'll take a picture of it because it gets, gives me a little exclamation mark. Cool. Will we get extra cold in the water? I guess not, so. Hi. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, hear my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the mother goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to that land and bring tidings to me of the, of the mother goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. So we heard about that before, goddess statue of wisdom. I think we heard about this before, yeah. The goddess statue of the Spring of Wisdom is troubled by her inability to sense the mother goddess statue in the vast canyon. She asks you to check on the statue and return with your findings. 
I will definitely do that. But that's only the start of what we're doing today. As you can see, we need to get up there. I wonder if this, yeah, this can be reversed, which is a perfect placement for it, because I can just get this to bring me straight up to the tower. Oh, here we go. But is there an easy entrance to it? It looks like I was supposed to continue going that way. Okay, well, I didn't, and that's okay, because we land right here and we get to the Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower. Will this one open easy, or will we need to put on some hard work into it? I don't know. Right now, though, I will break open some of this stuff. Ooh, I get a bunch of chill shrimp and new frozen bird drumstick. It's as hard as a rock, but it's supposedly edible. It restores a small number of hearts and has a cooling effect. I'll take it. And I guess we'll just open it up. See, so yeah, no uh, little thing has to be completed here. No quest to finish up this. So we'll get it activated and we'll launch upwards. Excited that we got to the top of Mount Lanayru though, pretty efficiently. And with it, we get the Mount Lanayru Skyview Tower. So I guess without further ado, let's hop on. We've done this many times before, but there's still a few more to go. Let's get launched. All right, ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. And the sun really shines way up here. I'm sure it's a good bit warmer too, right? Now we head back down. Light a lot to scan in this section. This should be where we'll see, I think, Laurelin Village. Whoa, hey, look who's above us. That's so cool. Perfect timing with the dragon. That's really neat. But as you can see, the southeastern part has been cleared up. We got Mount Lanayru, Hateno Village, and then the Clita Sea. So I guess Laurelin is maybe a little bit more south to us. Surface map updated. And of course, everything overhead too. Sky map updated. All right, well, we could explore some more of the sky. I figure some of that might have to be saved for later, but we've definitely good did a good amount of work here. So, oh, two dragons. I see a dragon down there and then a dragon up here. So actually, um, that would have been better if I was gliding. Let me actually get onto a solid surface for a moment for a couple of reasons. I don't know exactly where we are, but if I could land here, that dragon may be one I have not photographed yet. Yeah, this is the light dragon. Whoa. So it's not, okay. It doesn't have like a name like the other ones do. I do see that light that they're mentioning, but what does that mean? I have no clue. We're gonna have to catch up to it at some point, but for the time being, the other thing I wanted to focus on if we couldn't quite get the new Cluda was going to be looking for uh, geoglyphs, and I see one way down there. So that might be what, what's worth working on. If I take a look at the map, that looks like it's gonna be here near um, Talus Plateau. Pretty cool. Is there anything I can do around this way? It looks like, whoa, there's a craft already made. That seems neat. And I wonder if there's anything happening like maybe under, <gasps> no, no, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. I was looking to see if there's any chests under here just because sometimes we'll find like little treasure maps that way, but I guess not. So I couldn't ride that craft, and now I'm a little bummed. It's okay, we can always get back up there later. But it looks like we're right by, um, uh, yeah, Zora's Domain. It's a small Hyrule after all. So I guess we'll start heading down this as much as we can so we can start working on this geoglyph. I might just dive for a little. Okay, come on, keep it going. And then we'll start gliding from here. I just gotta watch my stamina too. This is the whole area we haven't really explored. It looks like there's another shrine over that way that I don't think we've gotten, so. Yeah, we got lots of work ahead of us. I'm sure there's plenty we can find. Okay, we're almost there. I figure, you know, if we land sort of at the, the south, southern end, at Laudrum Headland, I don't think that's too big of a deal. Just because, you know, lots to do all over the place. We'll get some extra stuff done along the way. That sounds like a good thing to me. Because we're still pretty early into today's episode. Hmm. I do get curious about what's over there. This very southern end of it. I do see a Korok seed up this way too, so I might as well get that. Got all my stamina restore. And that's enough. <laughs> we should be able to get climbing with this up to here. Oh, goes over there, huh? Okay, go, go, go. Help me out, Tulin. Got it. Ooh, now over there. 
This one we will not have to one's health. Oh, I do see that little uh, thing down there. Where is it now? Uh, Over there. This one's much easier to get to. Watch out for that key stuff. Oh no, please don't beat me up. Please leave me alone. Okay, getting up this way. Oh, don't do it. Oh, you jerk. You are so mean. You are actually so mean. Because it's not gonna be there by the time I get up at this rate, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh no, still there, still there. Go, go, go. Got it, okay. I was worried it was gonna disappear, but we found it and that should be our 19th Korok seed. Okay, so yeah, what's the deal around here? It looks like there's a cave down below, but I might as well get the spoils of my uh, reward here from feeding this guy. Okay, back over this way. What's going on in this mysterious cave? Discovery, we have found the Tarm Point Cave in the Lanairu Great Spring. And it looks like we have a friend over here. Oh no, a crab, a couple crabs. Hi, what should I do? Not that, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, hi, Sasen. Oh boy, that startled me. Didn't expect to see anyone else here. Did you also come here in search of the tre of treasure hearing about the ancient manuscript from Coda? Uh, hmm. I guess, that's right. It's an ancient manuscript left by Coda's ancestors. Since Finley is Coda's daughter, we asked her to tell us about the contents of the document. It said something like, long, long ago at Tarn Point, a blessed stone was hidden away within a sacred shrine. I know it's an ancient manuscript and all, but the writing lacked clarity. If you ask me, I was a bit skeptical at first, hmm. but come on, it's a sacred shrine. If I was going to hide treasure, that's exactly where I'd leave it. Finley was so convinced that, that she declared treasure hunt ahoy. Now, next thing I knew, she'd left Zora's domain. She was so excited, and where Finley goes, I go. So here I am. We made it all the way to this cave as a team. So I think Finley was one of the mm -hmm. uh, Zora people. But then Finley swam ahead all by herself and went deep inside the cave. I think I already see the glow of the yeah. shrine down there. I think I might even see her, the tiny little dot over there. Don't lag behind, she hollered back at me. Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Finley thinks I'm capable of anything. She really is such a sweetheart. I've been training like mad, but I'm just not a very good swimmer. Whoa. Aww. I found the perfect raft, a little raft there and thought maybe I could ride it to her location. Nope, the water in this cave goes up and down drastically. So even if you manage to get going, you end up on a rock. That means I have no way forward, so I'm not sure what to do. I promised Finley, of course we'll find the treasure together. Anything for you. That's what I said. Ugh, what should I do? True treasure. You found Sasson when you entered the cave at Tarn Point. It seems Finley ventured deeper into the cave without w waiting for him. Sasson needs to board a raft to catch up to her but he can't make it far with, with the water level rising and falling. He's not sure what to do. Maybe we can help. Uh, first off, is there anything I wanna get, get here? I guess some Korok fronds. Oh, I see, so that I can move the ship around. So I guess we'll try this. Aww. I wonder if I'm not just trying hard enough to go deeper into the cave. Uh, hold on, before we do anything. Mm. Yes, of course, I won't give up. Let me go ahead and just get some stuff on here. I figured that maybe it'd just be easier to uh, get some windmills on this, right? So if we were just to, or get whatever these are, the fans, and then the little driver. Okay, so we'll attach those to it. Just like this. And then over here, I'll attach this one to the back, like that, and then this one to the, no, no, not to this. Is that what I wanted? Here, here we go. So now if we were to get this going, would it work? I don't know if it actually steers that stuff, but I tried. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I wonder if I'm not just trying hard enough. It's rafting time. Huh? You're really going to help me get where I need to go on the raft? Thank you, you're ridiculously kind. I'll happily accept your help. So let's see if this works. It might not. Um, so, I need to pick it up first and foremost, and we just have to head up. So, drop it there, and let's get going. I mean, it's moving, is the steering working? Sort of, kind of, so the water level really does rise, whoa. Okay, I'm just drifting across as much as I can, waiting for that water lower again, oh no. Come on, go, go, go. We might have to wait here for a moment. It's sort of hard to slow it down, but there we go. 
I'm stuck on the wall for a moment, but I think we can push past. There we go, there we go. I can just keep going for a little bit longer. You get past these rocks. Oh, I'm a little stuck. Uh-oh, not good. Just let's let it chill out for a second and the water will raise. I'll be able to get past them. But this is a good spot to chill out for a moment again because it's a treasure chest waiting for us right over here. Let's go ahead and open that then because I'm very curious. What do we get inside of this? A royal shield with shield guard at plus six. That's 61 defense. It's absolutely worth putting it over something. I guess for now we'll go with one of the mighty Zonite shields. So there we go. Go back to driving for now if I can. It looks like I can't. Everything's a little crowded over here. So drop that. And now we can get going again. While the water level is still high, we need to push through these barrels. We're almost there. Hold on, Finley. Uh oh. Uh oh, hey. Not good. Okay. We're a little stuck for the time being, but don't you worry. The water level is going to come back up. Ooh, come on, come on. This is at the last stretch. I think we did it. Excellent. We did it. I'm finally here. Thank you. Of course. Sasson, look at you. You're so pale. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Really? So sorry I kept you waiting. And look at this. We get a shrine quest complete. Look at that, Sasson. There's a stone emitting a mysterious light. Could this be the sacred shrine that houses the blessed stone written of of in the ancient manuscript? Oh. Hmm, but I don't see any treasure like I was imagining. How disappointing. Mm. Finley, we journeyed to this cave all the way from Zora's domain in search of treasure. It was really tough, but now the two of us have the memory of seeing this sacred shrine together. Uh. That means more to me than any treasure ever could. Oh. Sassen, uh. our little treasure hunt. It was a blast, I'll never forget it. You're right, this memory is the greatest treasure of all. Truly, aw. Mm. Thank you so much for bringing me all the way out here. It's because of you that Finley and I had this treasured memory. Oh, that reminds me. I need to reward you. Take this, please, I insist. We get an opal, awesome. <laughs> I picked this up along the journey to the cave. I'd be overjoyed if it helped you out in some way. <gasps> oh, I have something for you too. Here, take this. We get our own opal. <laughs> nice, we get two. <laughs> Just like Sasson, I found this on my way here. It matches his. Ah. What a great day, Finley. How about we head back to Zoro's Domain? I can't wait to tell Coda. The story from that ancient manuscript was real. That sounds delightful. However, let's be sure to hold hands as we swim back so that we don't get separated again. <laughs> um, That sounds difficult, but if it's what you want, sure thing. Let's please just take it nice and easy on the way back. Okay, well hopefully he doesn't drown. Um, but the true treasure side quest is complete. I thought it was a shrine quest. Interesting. By the way, the Yumazuk Shrine is done now, or available to get done. So we'll go and do that in just a moment, but I just want to get those extra arrows. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I'll go ahead and read the update on that thing as well. True treasure. You let Sasson board the raft in the cave at Tarm Point and delivered him safely to Finley, who was waiting for him farther inside. They didn't find the treasure they expected at the shrine deep within the cave, but in the end, the memories they made together are more precious a treasure than any. Okay, so let's see what else we can do around here before we head into the shrine. I can grab that one right on the crab and then just move some more stuff around because I got a lot of arrows out of that last one. I just put one out of this one. <laughs> okay, good enough. Break that open and then let's head into this shrine. I forget what it's called, but we'll find out once we enter it. Oh, so this one's just gonna be a reward shrine. Raru's blessing, right? I guess so. So Raru's blessing for the Yamazuk shrine. Very cool. So I wonder what kind of cool goodie we'll get for this one. No major puzzle solving, which sometimes can be nice. We'll get a health refill, which is maybe a prize on its own. We get a diamond. Those are always so useful to have. So we gotta sell some of those sooner or later, make some major money and use that to buy some more gear. But hey, for now, we'll also get ourselves another blessing and we'll be able to head out of here. Okay, we've made our way out of that uh, little shrine. Pretty simple to get done, of course, and I'm hoping we can just find a way to lift ourselves out of here. Oh, the, oh, these are back. It's so nice that they respawn. Will they give me the same amount of arrows? They won't. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> okay, so after this, we'll start making our way over to that other uh, geoglyph that we've been working forwards. Okay, don't get too much out of that one. So I just wanna head up here. Okay, we got it. So yeah, it's gonna be continuing this way. And ooh, is that Addison? It is Addison, so wasn't expecting to find them out this way. We'll go say hello. 
Wow, you are just really out in the middle of nowhere for this one. You have my support. Okay, so how can we help with this one? I think we need to knock a tree over. I guess I'll try using the Gloom Spear. That doesn't really work. That's sort of the thing right now is I don't really have too many good weapons just for knocking down trees. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll try this thing. There we go. Luckily, it only takes one swing to get it. And I'll need another one from somewhere. I guess right here. So I think we're just gonna make sort of like a cross pattern with it. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Whoops. And it looks like there's more stuff off that way. Okay, I'm just now seeing all that. So maybe we can use that scene if we need to, but for right now, we're just gonna attach this here. This might not be as stable as I was hoping. Uh, yeah, this actually seems like a total mess. Maybe I shouldn't do it that way. Uh, yeah, I didn't see all this stuff before. I'll grab a firefly. I don't know if we've taken a picture of a firefly yet. Yes, we have. Okay, so we got a lot of fancy stuff around here. All I really need is one of these. Um, nope, wrong button. Attach it to something like this, or actually maybe even something smaller. Might be better. And maybe at most can combine another one over. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just try it with this and see if that's enough for Addison's little sign set up. So I'll just get it right up there. All right, Addison, we're almost there. I need to detach this for now. Get the stump. Just try to slot that in right over here. Come on, come on. Almost got it. Just like that. I guess I should have done that first. <laughs> okay, well, I definitely don't need this stuff now. So I'll do that. I'll get this up like this. Maybe it'll stay there. It will. Fancy. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> come on. Then we just lower this through one more time. Got it, attach. That should be enough just to keep it nice and stable. Here's open. Let's see, try letting go. And we got that thing super stable. You gotta be pleased with that, right? So that's good. The president is standing. And of course, you will get the, 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 the whole sign fastened into the ground. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. So let's get our rewards, another 20 rupees here. We're climbing up higher and higher. We'll get the bright seafood, seafood rice balls. Um, and also, a muddle bud. Great. All right, well, with that done, you're gonna run off. And I guess we will uh, continue off this way. So we're still just trying to work our way over to the geoglyph and discover whatever else we need to along the way. So far, we're making great progress with that. You know, this is a fun little area for sure. Uh, but, whoa, have I gotten a picture of this deer specifically? Um, yep, the mountain buck, I guess we have. But from up here, we should get a good view on where exactly the geoglyph is, which it looks like we've basically reached it. And while I don't know where the tier is, I do see where the most likely spot for the Korok seed is, right in the dead center of it. So I will definitely go try to pick that up, but I also got a picture of the mountain doe already. So there's our Korok seed. Awesome. Yeah, you found me. Yep, yep, yep. So the last geoglyph we found was really big, but this one actually seems to be pretty compact. So it shouldn't be that hard to run around here and try to find exactly where the tier is waiting for us. I mean, it's still not exactly small, so we'll have to run around a good little bit just to make extra sure, but so far, I'm not seeing it, but soon enough, I'm sure we'll run into it. Uh, let's go up this way. Oh, here it is. See, that wasn't so bad. So let's find out our next memory. I'm so excited to see these because each and every one of them has been so cool in its own way. Or dramatic or heartbreaking or a mixture of the three. So let's see what happens here. Will we have an exciting and dramatic heartbreak or will something totally different happen this time? Oh, it's the sages. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. 
Raru. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. <sighs> but you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. There's something I'd like to show you all. Wow. Oh, it's the stones. Stand with me. I need all your aid. Whoa. So these are how all the stones sort of came to be. Everybody's all geared up. We all gather here, swear on our lives to serve Rauru, the King of Light. Interesting memory. So while everything was looking really grim with the Gerudo army closing in on them, I guess you were able to use the secret stones. So I'm not exactly sure where that takes place, but I'm pretty sure maybe later on in the memories. Let's take a look at the memory log. That's number 12. So yeah, quite far into it. I mean, the most recent ones we've seen are at number six, the Gerudo Assault. So there's still a lot more information we need to discover through the other ones. But that was the Sage's Vow. Backed into a corner by the attacks in all parts of Hyrule, leaders facing the Demon King's forces gather at Rauru's call. He gives each Zo a Zonai secret stone, making them sages with powers amplified by the stones. All of the sages raise their voices as one, pledging to fight with King Raru to the end. So this is where they officially became sages. Crazy. All right, well, we still have so much more to experience with these memories, but that was a good step forward for sure. So I figured that for the rest of today, we should probably just keep looking around this area a little bit more, if not anything else. So, I mean, obviously some of this we've explored because it's right by Zora's Domain, but maybe we could get over this way. I see Horan Lagoon. And maybe they'll just be little areas to discover. If not, maybe we can find a shrine or two. But I think we did pretty good here. I think next time around, we'll probably go to um, the tower in the other region. And like I said before, try to make our way to Laurel and Village. That's still a big goal for me. So we'll try to be doing that. We'll try to be getting that done soon. But for the time being, is there anything cool to deal with? I do see that one shrine way over there. Huh. Anything else in the meantime? I do see something on top of that, that one spire, one little mountain. I think that that might be a Korok thing, so definitely worth it to fly over there and check it out. And there's sort of an upward draft, too. What's up with that? Huh. Okay. Oh, I tried to get blown over. Didn't quite work. Here, this will help us out. Doesn't give us the most height in the world, but oh, this is a new crab, the iron shell crab. This crab shell is particularly hard. When cooked into a dish, its fat and meat bolster the body to increase your defense. Huh, a lot of weird wind around here. I don't know what's up in there. What about that fish over here? That looks like a new kind, but I don't know if I can quite get a good, it's a mighty porgy, apparently. Uh, Mighty porgy. So you know what, we might want to fly over there really quickly. 
okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some Zora armor on if we're gonna be swimming around. Uh, wait, nope, there you go. Cool. Swimming over as fast as I can. I can maybe grab a new fish. Come on, one more, one more stroke. Wait, come on, no, we turn around, Link. Ah, this is it. Getting in a little closer. Uh, I'm trying to turn. Come on, just one more. We might run out of stamina. Oh, they dive under the water. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of stamina. <laughs> Whoops. What does that end up where we first jumped in though, right? I think so. So those fish are hard to catch. If I could jump like this and then maybe get blown over, that's not what I wanted at all. I would like to try to catch them one more time, but they just, they just go under. Okay, we got it. The mighty Porgy. This ocean dwelling fish comes with one rude attitude. The compounds in its flesh elevate your competitive spirit when it's cooked into a dish, thus increasing your attack power. That's amazing. So we got that. And then we can swim back over. I don't know if that's any better, is doing a little spin attack in the water. I guess we could get some fish that way, if not anything else. There we go, we made it through. So I wanna get to the top of this thing so that we can get another potential Korok seed. I see that dragon flying around again. I wonder which dragon that is then. That's the light dragon. So I guess it just flies around this area. Anyways, right now I'm hearing something tick away. Oh, over there. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, and I guess that's where we use this, huh? Uh, okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Come on, come on, come on, we might run out of time. We did it! Awesome. That was a little scary, but we found our way to the end. Yeah, you found me. Another Korok seed, that's our 21st one. And everything else we'll ignore. Um, that is a razor slaw, razor claw crab? Razor claw crab. I wonder if I can catch up to them without scaring them off. Come on, got you, razor claw crab. This crab is well known for its exceptionally sharp pincers. When cooked, the strength combat and its claws will increase your attack power. That's amazing. And then over this way, whoa. Oh, somebody's fighting a monster. Let's go help them. All right, I'm running over. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Ready, and boom. Got it. <laughs> nice. Are you okay? Uh. You're pretty strong. This is for saving me. We get some cheesy risotto. Rich risotto made with fish or mushroom mixed with Hylian rice and Hateno cheese. Hi. Are you a traveler? You seem to know how to handle yourself in a fight. Say, are you aware of the mystery of the geoglyphs that have sprung up all over the world after the upheaval? I do, I just got back from one. Ah. I'm an adventurer looking into these geoglyphs, even if I haven't made much progress yet. I came here because I heard that people have seen a geoglyph in the area, mm. but I've walked up and down these hills and not found any trace of it. <laughs> it's right across the water over there. No use complaining now. I'll rest a bit and pick up the search again soon. Maybe I'll see you again while I'm at it. Stay safe, tra traveler. Well, thank you for the reward. And um, we'll pick up some of this stuff and keep it moving. So there was a shrine way up there. I would hope to work my way towards that now. Not anything else for today. Get that done. But as long as we're just getting different little objectives done as we adventure around Hyrule, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, obviously it's not like main quest progress, but a lot of you have been letting me know that you want me to get this stuff done before we move any farther with the main quest, anyway, especially the hieroglyph stuff, or the geoglyph stuff. Uh, let me grab some of these, but I do see what's probably a Korok seed over here. I'm guessing I need to complete this little circle. Like that? Did that do the trick? No. Why not? I think that maybe it's supposed to be two stones. One right here, and then one right here. I might have to adjust them. Uh, that seems about right. Okay, everybody's standing in the way, so it doesn't help, but is that right? There it is! Wait, do we get two Korok seeds? No, okay. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're rocking up the Korok seeds right now. It's really nice. Okay, a lot of flying monsters around here, but you can see the shrine way up there. So that's my goal, but oh no, it's Addison again. We're running into you all over the place, buddy. What do we do with this one? It looks like I need to get some kind of stake through it, so if we switch over to our Ultra Hand. Oh, this one already has something attached to it. Odd, I was not expecting that. I haven't really seen that piece before. I will just try to fit this through here if we can. 
got it. And then, once again, I was supposed to lay this down under it first. Maybe I could just squeeze it under. That's sort of the thing is that you can't really push other stuff. Okay, uh, you know what? Do that. And then I will move this like that. There we go. That didn't work at all. Oh my gosh. Uh, if I could just please, this has made everything more complicated. Let's just cancel this because it's not helping. Um, I will just move this over here. Get this under. Ow, come on. <laughs> that was just mean. Get that there. Oh, I see where this piece becomes very useful because it's at a weird slant, but this would help make everything balance. Is it attached? Attach. No, okay, whatever. If it stays still, I don't care. Uh, I just don't know if it'll stay still. Okay, put that there. And let's give this a go. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. Yep, okay. Let's see if this works. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay, well, we'll need to like strengthen that up a little bit, but now I gotta get everything set up again. Such a pain when that happens. Okay, this one has been such a struggle, but I think I've gotten some kind of setup for it. Oh my gosh, yes, let's just be done with this one then. Oh, that was tough. Now, unfortunately, it has started raining since we got started with all this, so it'll be even harder to climb up to the top of this thing over here, but it's okay. We can do this, perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing well. Okay, so we get 20 red rupees there, and also rapid meaty rice balls, giving us faster movement speed, and then uh, a bomb flower, cool. So, he is off, I'm glad that we got another one done, but I guess at this rate, I wanted to get up there. It might just be easier at this point to try to find some other way around, like if I need to go to the Ihana Shrine, um, back at Zoro's Domain and then fly over. That really might just be a better way to get that one shrine. Okay, so what I believe it was, was right over this way, I think. I'm hoping I'm right, because the, oh no, a little to my right then. Here we go. I guess there's a lot out here. I don't really know what's going on with that big thing, but if I could just head over to the shrine, that's the number one thing I'm interested in. Should be out here somewhere. Actually, maybe more that way. So maybe I should just go through whatever that big arena thing is. I honestly have no clue. Is there somebody else fighting a Pokemon over there? There is. Another adventurer needs our help. Well, then let's go help them. Okay, we're coming in, we're coming in. Right about there. That didn't help. Okay. Uh, I might just go in there and get a couple slices in normally then. Yeah, one more time. Got it. Much better, right? I'm glad that worked out. Aww. My bug collection collecting was already going badly, so being attacked was just a sting on top of a bug bite. Ah. But let me give you this as a thanks for your help. It, it's great to eat even when you're on the road. We get a new one, Sneaky Fruity Tomato Stew, grants a low level stealth boost, a colorful dish, a, bountiful, a bounty of fruit simmered with fresh tomatoes. Ah. Are you enjoying your own travels? Are you catching every last bug you see? I certainly try to. Since we're both here, let me buzz your ears with some bug facts. Ah. If you look around, you'll definitely be able to find cold darners in this region, which is handy since you can combine them with monster parts in a pot to make a heat resistant elixir. I've been looking to get my hands on one, but they keep slipping through my grasp. Mm. I know it pays to chill out when you're trying to catch insects, but I'm finding it really tough to tone down my excitement. <laughs> and that's it for Dr. Waddler's Insight Crash Course. I hope we meet again some somewhere soon. Me too. So, nice meeting up with you. I didn't mean to do that. Let's check out what's going on with this thing now. Now I'm very curious. It's on the other side of all this. We should start finding that one shrine, I think. Okay, we're almost here. Looks like there's a lot of barricades and stuff. Ooh, this is definitely gonna be some kind of crazy enemy den. So I see you over here, if I hit you with an arrow, it's gonna be a one hit takedown, and more than that, we should be able to get your arrows out of it. Thank you. Okay, this might be an interesting one to fight through. Okay, I do see you over here. Don't you dare, gotcha. Nobody knows, nobody knows. Uh, I do see another monster over there. That's a silver one over there. So I did wanna take a look. Hold on, on my staff. By type, I do have things like the Muddlebud. 
Yeah, we should probably use the muddle butt, right? Because with the muddle butt, they might even just end up attacking their friends. Let's do that. Uh, will they know? Oh, they don't. So they're going in to fight. Oh, this is crazy. There we go. That helps out a lot. But really, I need enemies to take out the silver one, right? I mean, I guess with these two fighting, maybe we can make something happen. Oh no. Uh, so they're all trying to fight the silver one, which means everybody else can just go in there and fight, right? I would hope so. Oh my. Uh, whoa, that guy's huge. Okay, we need to try for him then. <laughs> they're all attacking each other. There we go. Oh, here we go. They're not happy with that one. Why didn't, okay, well, I was hoping that would work. Uh, I might throw another one over. That one definitely, okay, no, it did land on people. Cool. Uh, if I need anything else, let's use the Topaz Rod here as much as I possibly can. There we go. And then we just need to start slicing, I think. Um, let's use the Black Mop on Hammer. To smash down on you a little bit. This thing is badly damaged. I'm gonna toss it at an enemy and hit one of them. Okay. And then let's go with you. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, gotcha, come on. That was pretty good. I don't know who's attacking who at this point, but I'm just giving it everything I got. It seems like they're still tussling with each other a little bit, for sure. Um, okay, yeah, they're not going for me, that's good. Gotcha. Oh, come on, everybody's going crazy here. And if we can get rid of you there, that helps out a ton. But I see you over this way, and I think that your confusion has ended, so you're furious. All right, um, I need to switch to something else. Let's try the silver moblin hammer over this way. Whoa, okay, uh, not good. Oh, I got the flurry rush. This is gonna be really good. Okay, come on, damage you down as fast as I possibly can. Come on, just a couple more swings. Ooh, that was scary. All right, you over here. Shouldn't be too bad, actually. Ready, and one or two swings. Wow, we already broke that one. Sort of a shame, but hit you with electricity then. That helps out a little bit. And then maybe just, boom, one swing with that should be the trick. So what are we looking for now? I think that there might be one more enemy over here. Is it anything too intense? I mean, I don't see anybody. Oh, there's somebody trapped in here, let me out. I'll help you in a moment. Oh, it's you. All right. Uh, if you can play your horn if you want. Okay, don't do that though. Okay, there go our arrows from that one. Unfortunate. So that should be all the enemies taken out. We'll go save that one person in just a moment. I guess for the time being. You know what I should probably do? Okay, I got the sturdy thick stick. That should be enough to break some of the stuff open. I wanna get those arrows, for sure. I just need to take arrows whenever I get the chance. I'm up to 80 of them now. And then we will send back up here. Got it. These are fancy boxes too. I don't think I've seen this design on them before. Got that. And then we'll get over here and help you out, buddy. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. Uh, ooh, we got some fancy stuff over here too. So we'll try that out soon. I guess I just picked this up and put it over. What if I put it back over you? Uh, uh. Thank you, I'm saved. I just spared thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how, how I got here. Uh. A fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the blood moon. Some nights, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then, defeated monsters appear again. There you have it. The Blood Moon. It is my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something. But I got too close. And here I am. Please, take this for saving me. Salt grilled meat. Short on ingredients, just rub some meat in, salt, and cook it for a simple tasty dish. Cool, mm -hmm. you want another? All right, so we get a sneaky meat and seafood fry. Oh. No, that's not enough to properly convey my gratitude. Here, a fairy tonic, awesome. Mm. Tonight is a new moon. Mm. The new moon is hesitant to show herself. Perhaps she's shy? Oh. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now quick, let's split up before a monster spots us. All right, well, it was nice meeting you. And then over here, not too much going on. I guess we'll open up all these treasure chests, break these boxes open. Gotta be some good rewards waiting for us in here. We get a Lionel Reaper, whoa! A very swingable stick made by owning a dried branch to the proper thickness and length. Its attack power is much greater than that of a normal stick. So that's really cool. Um, I wanna make sure that we have a picture of this, I'm pretty sure we do. We don't, the Lionel Saber Horn is what we're missing a picture of. So we still need to fight a Lionel at some point. I'm sure we'll get to it, but for right now, if we pick that up, that's gonna be a really powerful weapon. Happy to have it. Over here, we have five arrows, thank you very much. 
and a amber. Okay, cool. We'll break some of this open too. Let's get a good couple of swings. It looks like it's mostly food. And do I have a picture of a blackened crab? I can't when it's cooked. So all of this stuff we'll just scoop up. And I guess we'll just pick up whatever monster parts are waiting for us now, which there are plenty of. Good news. Okay, so we got this. If this is for the silver boss Pokemon, what do they have here? Whoa! This is going to be a Zora Longsword. Cool that we finally found this one. Um, I'll definitely try to pick it up. It only is eight damage, but the Zora Longsword is a decayed Zora Longsword. <laughs> it's suited for battle near water because it's made of an unusual metal that increases attack power when it's wet. Great. Not quite done though, because there's still some more over here. The gnarled wooden stick as well, but I guess that was mostly it when it comes to the monster parts. I don't see too much over on this side, but there is another treasure chest behind this, not that one. Um, what do we have over here? There's a bunch of food. Ooh, even the hearty, tr hearty truffle. I'll take that. Okay, do that. Open this one up. And we get rock salt. <laughs> that was maybe the least exciting gift so far. So that was all really nice. Uh, so unless I'm missing any of the monster parts, which doesn't seem like it, we're gonna get good to head out of here and try to look, ow, I thought I could just jump over. <laughs> the spike was facing the opposite way that we're trying to jump over. But uh, we wanna get out of here and try to look for that one shrine that we were after before, which should be somewhere along this way, if I'm not mistaken. This is where I gotta be careful because I don't wanna just jump off and end up missing it entirely, but somewhere along here, because we were down that way before, looking out for it, and now I'm not really spying it. Oh, I think right over here, right around this corner. We're about to see it. There it is. So that's gonna be the last thing we do today is just get to that shrine and finish it off. It's definitely a very tucked away one, so I'm just glad to get another shrine done. So many more left, you know, so each one we can make progress with the better. Okay, almost there. Just a little bit lower. And we're heading into this one. So this is the Apogek Shrine in the Lanairu Great Spring. Let's head in. So this is the Apogek Shrine, Wings on the Wind. Oh my. So how are we doing this one? It looks like we need to get this ball somewhere. Not exactly sure. I guess over there. So I guess I'll grab one of these. If I'm not mistaken, what we have to do here is just get this to the other side. So I guess first things first, we will attach the ball. Maybe just at the center of it. Okay, okay. what was that? Uh, there, a little bit better. And this will at least open up to the next chamber, which feels like a good idea. So I don't really even need to go with it too much. I just gotta make sure it lands over here, which it will. <laughs> cool, so there is that. I will pick it up, flop it off right here, and we're good to go. That's gonna open those doors. Before we get too carried away with that, I do wanna take a peek around to make sure we didn't miss a treasure chest or anything like that. It doesn't seem like it. I'd be doubtful it'd be in the first area. They're usually in the second whenever things are sort of segmented like this. But what do we have going on here? A couple of uh, wind things. So I'll get this one. And then maybe I'll just boost my way up here, get a good look at what we're trying to get done. I do see a treasure chest over here. This seems like it'd be pretty simple to get to. I would just want to, okay, not that, but get one of these to boost me upwards. So let's try that over here. I probably just want to get up to this spot first. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, I thought I might have to bring it up to the next level, but we're doing that pretty easy. So that's good. We'll get ourselves a Mo mighty Zonite Spear. This is actually pretty nice. So I think I'll go ahead and drop a Farmer's Pitchfork because I really don't need that. And we'll get going. So the question is, are we just trying to get over? I guess so. I thought that we were trying to do something fancy here. Not really. So what I need to do, <laughs> I could call one over. That's definitely what I meant. Uh, I'm just waiting for another one to fly down. I guess I could just grab the one I already have. Or that one. Okay. I don't know if it's worth it to get a fan on it, but I might as well try to see how this works out if I just get it attached at the little back part of the tail. 
And then I might as well try to keep it straight and steady by putting it on the center one over here. And then before it gets too carried away, I need to run really fast and- Okay, that's not gonna work. Go all back, go all back. Okay, now I'm on it, it can go. I'm a little nervous about this, but if I just stay on the back of it, and try not to disrupt the ride, I think we'll ride straight over to where we need to go. Yeah, we're, we're coasting. I could, you know, turn it a little bit, but you gotta be careful with that little tiny movements end up having a big effect. We're coming in for a landing, right about here. Boom. Ooh, perfect landing. Super smooth. Link's a pilot. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get our, our orb out of this one. That was a pretty fun trine. Okay, so we've done a lot of progress in today's episode. We climbed to the top of Mount Lanairu. We got the Lanairu um, Skyview Tower over this way. Glid all the way over here to complete some side quests, another shrine, um, a geoglyph, lots of stuff. Of course, you just watched me do it all, so I guess I don't need to explain that too much. Next time around, I think my main goal is going to, of course, be getting back over this way. I wanna find the Skyview Tower for this area and maybe even make your way over to Laurel and Village. I think that'd be pretty cool and maybe we'll find more geoglyphs along the way. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.